Sorry, Grandpa. I was shooting at you. Nothing personal. Grandpa Nubi reporting for duty with another episode of I Play With Your Class. And James T. out of the UK sent me a very intriguing class saying that if you tax stance the static HV in this configuration, then you have 30% faster weapon. And you know that Grandpa doesn't usually like to do tax dancing so and that's why it intrigued me there's something new for me to try out so here's the configuration and thank you james i appreciate it the auger 840 barrel and you can see that that increases the ads speed sprint to fire speed tax stance spread is only one degree per second these are composite numbers one degree per second that is very very precise and you can see what else it does there recoil control we don't really worry about recoil that much in modern warfare 3 because once you're locked on to an enemy, I think aim assist kind of takes over. But if you look at the damage, headshot, and this is across the board for this configuration, it's going to be a pretty hefty 46 with upper torso damage, another hefty number, 39, 36 for the lower and upper legs at 33. Rate of fire is 822 roughly rounds per minute. So this is an absolute bullet hose. You're going to be pumping out the bullets. Bullet velocity, 600 meters per second which is okay effective damage range is fairly close at 7.6 meters but you can see the minimum damage range reaches all the way out to 35.6 meters the Kimura RYL 33 laser and that gives us again 17% contributes to the one degree per second in tax stance sprint to fire speed is all the way down at 61 milliseconds faster some than some handguns ADS speed it helps it by 8% and look at there there are no downsides except maybe flashlight visible in ADS laser visible in ADS no stock and obviously what that's going to do is help us with our mobility and our sprint to fire it's going to impact recoil but we've already talked about that and look at the tax stance spread 29% better with this no stock attachment now this is how we say there in the cell VAR V 1.2 grip and that helps again 23% tax stance spread you can see that almost all of these attachments attack the tax stance spread to make it absolutely razor sharp pinpoint and finally the chew angled grip now this is the configuration according to James T it's an awesome configuration I probably would have gone with the paracord because of the sprint to fire speed it's down to 48 milliseconds but hey there you have it, the Chuk angle grip. Let's take this configuration into the firing range and compare it to my standard static HV config and concentrate on the speed. So we're gonna move right to left four times. First, aim down sight. And you can see that, yay verily, James T's configuration is much faster than my standard configuration. And then let's look at it, hip fire, same thing, only not quite as pronounced. Let's Let's take this James T subscriber defined configuration onto the field of honor. See how it did for old grandpa. See what it did to grandpa's sometimes friendly enemies. Let's go. Let's get into this. Little thermite is a great icebreaker for the game. Of course, uh, grandpa got his ice kicked on that one. Yeah, <laughs> thermite myself. All right, so this is James T's configuration, and man, it is absolutely a beast. It puts out the bullets. I mean, the static HV throws out lead. Hey, that guy thought he was going to snipe, just stand there and camp. There he is again, and there's a guy in a white bathrobe. Who fights in a white bathrobe? bathrobe just finish your shower and come on back out there's uh oh, i don't even know what to call that skin looks like a white bathrobe might have been jumping around at grandpa so you can see that i mean the tax stance is pinpoint accurate 
Throw out a welcome mat. There's Cheech Marin. If you got a ticket to a concert featuring his comedy, you might want to try to get your money back because he's just been gacked. I don't do much tax dancing. I really don't. ADS, it is absolutely awesome. Look at there. And you saw that it is significantly faster in the strafe and the ADS movement speed. Of course, hip should be about the same. It's not in the configuration, but it's closer. How about a bunch of welcome mats? Must be trying to do a challenge there because I usually don't carry that ammo box now one thing to keep it look how fast he ran around this guy that poor guy that average terrorist never knew what hit him whoa it's pretty rude to shoot a grandpa when he's putting out his streaks of course there's no trophy to put beside it now one thing to keep in mind shot her in the belly button i didn't notice if it were pierced or not one thing to keep in mind in Black Ops 6 is that when you throw out an ammunition box, you don't have to reload yourself. It automatically did it for you in the beta. Now, if you come upon one, then yeah, you got to hit the X. Where is an enemy? One thing that... What was that? One thing that... I gives me hesitance about the configuration is that of course when you ADS you're flashing a flashlight plus you're throwing out the laser beam so you got to be pretty quick now the sprint to fire is really really quick with this I think it was a less than 70 milliseconds with the paracord grip you can make it 48 milliseconds or 49 So like I said, Grandpa only does tax dance for challenges, and maybe I've been getting it wrong. Thanks, James T. Whoa. Well, there's that poor guy trying to get his cat kills. Maybe next time Grandpa shouldn't even shoot at him. What's going on here? A lot of tags. Whoa. Once again, slid right past her. And she just couldn't stay with it. I mean, this weapon is, in this configuration, is fast. Came back for more. There's some more welcome mats. We have an iron back on our team. My first exposure to it, James T., I got to say, I kind of like it. But I'm going to give it another shot. And ironically, here we are right back in Stash House. Looking for the stash. See if I can get through the glass. Whoa, and you can see the fast ADS. Absolutely spectacular. We stuck the guy doing his laundry. You're not supposed to stand on the washer and dryer. Those things will bend easy. What was that? I mean, th this is going to be a permanent class, James T. And I rarely say that with the user config. Now, I am going to add the paracord grip to it. You can see that in the photo for the thumbnail. I did add the paracord grip. But other than that, your configuration is spot on. I mean, I went ahead and played with it five or six, I think, games. And Grandpa was at the top of his lobby or second place on the team, lobby, whatever, each time. Because... I was absolutely slaying with it. And I'm primarily an objective player. So kills to me are secondary in an objective game. And the kills are king when it comes to team deathmatch. There we go. It's my turn to use the wash machine. What's going on there? Looks like Amazonian warrior woman got revenge for Grandpa, which... She's got a soft spot in my heart for that. I heartily recommend, if you haven't tried it, and the number of subs that I team with on my on my streams, guys that have become really friends, 
over the last months have not tried this. I asked them about it because once I tried this class, it's something I'd like to share with everyone but the enemies because it is hard to track. Look at there. Ran right past them, came back and got them. I mean, the accuracy combined with the rate of fire combined with the movement speed is just absolutely unbeatable. Of course, some of the guys I play with can beat me with it, I suppose. But we won't talk about that. In fact, I won't even mention it. Look at there. Strafing back and forth. They couldn't stay with it. Great class. Uh, shoot my own guys. You know, it'd be so much easier to get your camos if you could shoot your own teammates. And it counts. Not saying Grandpa would do that, right? Oh, where is that guy? Grandpa's always looking for the, for the objective. You can see he couldn't stick with me. That was a shot at relative distance, more than 7.6 meters, which is the effective range for this weapon and grandpa got killed by two at once there but you approach somebody with the trigger down moving around I don't think they're gonna be able to get you they won't get you Whoa. sometimes it's inopportune to be throwing that thermite when there's somebody to gack right in front of you Fifty rounds. Default. Can't change that, but I tell you, fifty rounds is enough and you're moving fast with it. Fast ADS, fast sprint to fire, fast movement speed. And there you go. So what do you think? Give it a try and comment below what you think about James T's tax stance configuration here. I thought it was a keeper. And like I said, it's now a permanent class for Grandpa. Like and subscribe is always appreciated. It helps me, helps the family. Hey, hang out at our streams on Sunday and Wednesday, and also I'm starting to do them on Tuesdays too. Cheers and peace to you.